What's up guys, it's Jack from Jack Waffles and here we'll be doing some more Pokemon videos. Now the last one, we completed the ancient line. Um, now we're going to be doing some AI generated ones and we'll be making the Pine Pokemon. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so, the first one I got was this one. Now, as you can see, it's called Pig Glide, which is what it's going to be called here. Now, obviously, what the heck is this? What is... What is... What is this? We are fixing that. But obviously, you can tell that this is obviously better than mine. Who told you that? Anyway, I decided that I will do voiceover instead of... Yes. So, here we go. Okay, so first I started working on the ears. I needed the gray, uh, which I'm going to do in a second, in order to uh, complete the ear. So, yeah. Uh, I got the color scheme from the original model. And then, um, yeah, I finished up both of the ears and the head. Well, not finished, exactly. I uh, made the eyes. Bam. 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 Okay, I guess my magic's not working today. So, I, mean, I tried to make the eyes as best as possible, but uh, that didn't really work out. Uh, bam. <laughs> it worked that time. Uh, then I made the nose and the mouth. Both very skinny. Um, and then I just started working on the rest of the design. I, I decided to make the mouth not connect because it didn't have a mouth in the, in the other design. I added, a little, I added a little extra details myself. I kind of made it accidentally look like an evolution. Or just straight up Eevee. I uh, may have a bushy tail like all the other grass Pokemon. Because why Why wouldn't the pine Pokemon have a pine tail? Then I colored in the feet. And then it was about done. But then I realized it was a little empty uh, up in the ear. So I decided to LO design myself. Okay. Alright, here it is. Pine Glide, the Pine Pokemon. This Pokemon species is known for living in the forest, obviously. It uses its bushy tail to attract a mate, even though it can't breed. But when it evolves, it will, um, yeah, it will uh, be a bigger thing. Because it evolves. It seems like I don't have a reference to go off of. Uh oh. I'm just going to try to evolve that to its. and uh, basically it's going to be midway. No important data found during recording. Whew. For a grass dragon type like this, I wouldn't expect it to actually look this good because this is one of the best I'd say I drawn from scratch because there were no references. Um, there was like nothing. This is all from scratch. I think I should do more like this. Don't you think? I think so. Anyway, it's time to make another one off of, I actually have a reference this time, that one on the screen.
And here it is. Pinosaurus. Or a name I know. But best I can do off of the reference which was uh this how do I draw that? I can't. And plus, I needed to make this a like before this, but after this. So, yeah. And also, the tail like disappears. So, like here, it's like a very big tail, very small tail, no tail. Anyway, the trees on its back are known to, are known to be four. Uh. Uh. Trees on its back are are known to be half the size of regular trees. I think that can give you a hint on how big this thing is. And also it has its um its back right leg up, so you can't see it. And also I just forgot to draw it. By the way, the trees don't t change colors in the shiny, if you haven't noticed. But the leaves do. Because the, the, I'm pretty sure people know that uh, a lot of people like autumn shinies. So it's like half an autumn shiny. Because I, every single shiny for the, the pine Pokemon, it uh, has autumn leaves. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Inspire Mod. Uh, I hope you stick around to see another one. Uh.